Recording has stopped for buffer issues? What the? Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Tobias Mug from Lit Video Productions. We make epic videos for epic companies. And in today's production vlog, I wanna talk about uh, just some things that have happened in the last week with the C200 and some buffer issues that I've been running into while recording 4K media. But before we get into that, go ahead, give us a like, subscribe for more info just like this, videos like this, whatever I'm supposed to say at that point, and comment in the section below if you're having any issues with any of your cards that you're using or anything like that. I'd love to know. That's one of the things that we've got to kind of help each other because Canon's been kind of hush-hush about what actually works and the fact that all the tested cards that are on their official tested cards list, some of them are discontinued cards. So where does that leave us? And moving forward, what can I use so that I make sure I have something that I can deliver for clients? So I did a shoot on Wednesday. Um, decided I was gonna shoot at 4K. It's basically the maiden voyage of my C200. And I have two of these Lexar, they're 150 mega, is it? megabytes yeah i always get the two confused 150 megabyte you know v60 u3 class 10 it's i mean these things are diesel they're supposed to be great cards i would run about 10 20 seconds in uhd mpeg4 and i kept getting these like buffer issues the recording would shut down and i would get this thing that said buffer issue so i don't know what was going on my client was on the way, I was shooting B-roll while it was happening. So I just switched over to HD and I seemed to not have a problem because it's just such a lower um, amount of information coming in. I was just like, let me just do this. Although these cards are, are I mean, they're V60. V60 should be able to handle up to 480 megabits, megabits per, megabit, megabytes, me, no, 480 megabits per second. And I'm running at 150. So. At any rate, the HD worked, got the, the done with the client, got back to the house. Then I started bringing in my footage and I guess I must have had corrupt files with some of the ones that shut down with the buffer issue because uh, Adobe Premiere kept crashing on me. I kept having issues. So I'm like, all right, slow down. Let's go ahead, update Adobe Premiere. Started there. Then I get a warning. You need to update your drivers on your NVIDIA graphics card. All right, so do that, download that. While all these downloads and updates are happening, I go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, ha let's try out some other cards on the camera and see what happens. So I drop a SanDisk Extreme Pro SDHC card. It's class three, 10, V30. So everything reads okay on it. The only thing is being HC, it's gonna write four, gigabyte max file. So if I'm running long, it's just gonna write a whole bunch of files. Whatever, let's at least just test it out. So MPEG-4 recorded fine on this card. I recorded about a half hour of footage. I just shot the camera on my fish tank, so at least I had movement, so I knew it was recording something. And it recorded fine. Brought the footage in, it looks fine. I'm not noticing any weird like drops in frames or anything like that. It just took a little while because obviously it's 95 megabytes yeah, megabytes, I got a cheat card over here. Megabytes per second um, uh, offload card and 32 gigabytes, pretty much I maxed out the card because a 64 gigabyte card would give me about 51 minutes of UHD footage. So I got about, I don't know, it was like 27 minutes or something like that on this card, no problems. I went ahead, switched back to the Lexar card, switched from MPEG-3, MPEG-4, sorry, to the AVC, um, was it XF, whatever the other compressed UHD format is. And it, at first I, I did notice it did like a 20 second thing and shut down. Now I might've done a double tap or it might've had a buffer issue. I don't know. I, I kind of just said it to record and walked away. But then I did another record, same thing. It recorded for about half an hour and filled the, if I didn't fill the card up. I just recorded half an hour just to test. And it, I don't think it had issues. I'm going to keep testing this card because at this point I don't trust them and I can't use them with clients. So now I'm testing out, oops, I have two of these Extreme Pro 60, uh, uh, 64 gigabyte, 95 megabyte write speed cards. Now, once again, it's this V30. V30 is what it can actually write on the card. The speed is guaranteed. And since the 
um, compressed UHD writes at 150 megabits per second. That works out to 18.75 megabytes per second. So do it if this has a max of 30 guaranteed, I'm well within that at 18.75. It's just gonna take longer to transfer off of this card onto my computer or whatever else. Um, also, I don't know if I wanna use the MPEG-4. I'm gonna stick with using the um, XF, whatever the other one is. So I can use XF Utility because XF Utility doesn't see the MPEG-4s unless you've shot something in that mode on the card, which I discovered later. So that way I can at least import it and it's being transcoded and all that correctly as opposed to a drag and drop because we don't want any weird issues to happen due to that. So right now I'm going to just keep testing out stuff. I will continue to keep testing out these cards just to make sure because at the end of the day I own them because you can't return cards that you've opened. I did talk to Adorama customer service. At the end of the day, they tried to sell me on a CFast card. They were like, that's what we really suggest for the camera. And I'm like, guys, that's only if you're shooting raw. I don't want to shoot raw all the time. I want to shoot the compressed stuff. So I need SD XC cards that are correct. All said and done, I didn't buy anything. And I was like, I'm going to do some more research. So I'd love to know if you're having this buffer issue with any cards that you've bought. Um, so far, like I said, the SanDisk Extreme Pro, I ha haven't had any issues with the MPEG-4 and the AVC XF file format. I've had problems with MPEG-4 with the Lexar um, uh, card, it, it buffer issues and that kind of thing, which it shouldn't have, but I'm having issues with that. And then I've tried it in the other format and I didn't have any issues, but I need to test some more before I use it again with a client. At this point though, I will probably go back to grabbing some sand discs because if that's what works, that's what works. That's what I need to buy to make sure that I can deliver for my clients without any issues. That's, that's at the end of the day, we gotta make sure we have something that works. So until next time, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Like I said, if you're having buffer issues, I wanna know in the comment section below, what cards are you using? Have you figured out any workarounds? Maybe it's my camera that I'm having issues with. Maybe you have these cards and you're having no problems. I don't know. Let's find out together as we're all users of this camera and there seems to always be mysteries when it comes to digital media. Until next time, everybody have a fantastic day. My name's Tobias Mug from Lit Video Productions. We make epic videos for epic companies. Cheers all. Cheers all. Cheers. Peace. Good night. Adios. Das vidanya.